So the active ingredient Matrixyl has just been has just won a prize for being the most important launch in the last 25 years. Now perhaps you could explain us a bit what the origins of this active ingredients were. The origins, it goes back to a publication, scientific publication that we found in the literature, which stimulated us to look at a small peptide of five amino acids, which stimulates collagen synthesis in human fibroblasts. And that was the beginning. We thought that uh, stimulating collagen synthesis with a defined molecule uh, was an interesting point to start with and uh, one thing following another we did uh, a number of in vitro studies to show that this peptide did more than just stimulate collagen also hyaluronic acid also fibronectin and other proteins and from in vitro you go to ex vivo studies you see changes in the skin and finally you go to clinical studies and to see what does such a peptide do on the human skin the really original idea at the time was to do a clinical study over six months with intermediate points, time points, two months, six, uh, four months and six months. I think it was the first time that a six month placebo controlled, randomized clinical study had been done on an active ingredient and that was Matrixion. And how long did this development take altogether? Altogether, I would say from the first idea to uh, the clinical uh, studies and then to the launch, about two years. And how does this um, active work in actual fact? Well, uh, as I said, in vitro one can see the mechanisms, the individual stimulations of the essentially the dermal fibroblasts, and then uh, in vivo you see the effects of the stimulation. The skin is a mattress, mattress of uh, connective tissue, of hyaluronic acid, of glucosaminoglucanes, of proteins, of course. And as we age, these proteins decrease. There is less synthesis, uh, more destruction by sunlight, by uh, proteolytic enzymes. And this uh, peptide, is part of a natural healing process. Actually, it comes from wound healing research and by rebuilding the connective tissue of the skin's mattress, the wrinkles don't disappear, but they are slowly um, reduced because the skin becomes thicker again and this mattress is more flexible and uh, of higher density. So the original Matrixul is not really openly available to the market, but what is available for the market? There is a whole range of Matrixil peptides. The original is available. Uh, the Matrixil 3000 was the follow-up product, which is a combination of two peptides of the same type of activity. And then there is a Matrixil Synthesis, which is another peptide with uh, a very specific uh, capacity to stimulate the six uh, important proteins and macromolecules of this connective tissue. And uh, there are other variants which are not uh, uh, all uh, in the catalog, but uh, do exist in, uh, for certain customers. So what potential do you see for peptides in general in future? I think peptides are here to stay. Uh, they generate less buzz now because new concepts have arisen in the meantime, plant stem cell culture, various uh, plant-derived molecules, but peptides are so active, so important, so interesting, so biologically specific that there will always be peptides used in the, in the cosmetic industry for not only wrinkle repair or anti-aging um, purposes. Uh, peptides can be used in slimming products, can be used in skin uh, toning products, uh, can have all sorts of activities that go beyond uh, simple anti-aging.